Hello everyone, so I am about to give y'all a really juicy thrift haul, but right now Robbie is playing guitar, writing music, and I am making myself a little Moscow Mule. So get any kind of ginger beer. This is just the one that my local liquor store had. It's actually really good. I would drink this by itself actually. And then lime, because you want a juice of a lime and a lime wedge. And then your favorite vodka. This was $10.99, so that's why it is my favorite, because it's cheap. Okay, so first we're gonna show off. Um, I have one thing that I ordered from eBay that I'm gonna do for my car and do an unboxing with, and then he's gonna show off something he got on Mercari, right? Yeah, okay. I sent an offer to the guy on uh, Mercari who sent this Aqua Teen Hunger Force uh, movie shirt, and it's the uh, opening scene, like before the movie starts, of, like the uh, like little pre-show, and it's the, uh, the metal band um, concessions, and I just saw that and I asked, yeah, swiped it for about 40 bucks. And uh, yeah, that's how much it was. Yeah, I thought you said it was like 25. No, I said, yeah, you know, I was like 38. Oh, okay. But well, well either way, this is still a good shirt. I can wear it too. Here's the graphic. If y'all have ever seen the movie, you know, this is like the first thing you see. When I first saw it, my brothers, we were like, we were so confused when we first saw the movie because we didn't know that was part of it. Then, uh, there's a tag, the Ripple Junction. Can't wait to see what size it is. If it's like a, like a. Like a boxy a, large XL. Kinda, yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's a good fit. It's a good fit. I, I like it. Definitely never getting rid of this one. And then my item is a set of matching Ed Hardy car seat covers. And they're pretty pricey on eBay. I think I got these, this set for like, 40 or 50 bucks, but that's a steal because one of them, like other graphics that I saw were literally going for like 65, $85 for one, not two. So I got this one. This graphic is so cute. It's this little bulldog with the crown on it. And there is how it'll look on my seat right there. And I'm also waiting to, you know, make a little bit more extra money to splurge on getting like a steering wheel cover and all that. Like I want to get the matching one for this, but like, it's not like, like I don't have to, I can get a normal one, but I want to get that one. But if it comes down to it, I'll just get a normal one because the leather on my steering wheel is kind of cracking, but I did get both of them matching for the front seats for like 45 or $50, I think. And that'll keep my leather seats from cracking even more. There's only a couple cracks on them. And then in the summer and winter, like uh, I won't burn my legs and I won't have to get into a super cold leather car. You know what I mean? Go over the stuff that, uh, that I, that I pretty much uh, pulled from the past week or whatever since last weekend up till about Friday. This is the stuff I found. Um, I found this, um, just going right off the top, but I found this hoodie. Apparently it's discontinued. It's uh, some streetwear company called Devil Child, I believe, or Demon Child or something. I don't know. But I thought it was really cool. That's the hood. It's like little, little ears. Yeah. And like two, like, you know, split color blocking. I don't know. I thought it was really interesting. Found this on a Salva Salvation Army for only like, couple bucks so yeah that'll be good for like menswear and also mm -hmm. like oversized for like a cute fall look with like leggings or tights with some boots yeah. so cute or just loungewear yeah so chilling at home super cool yeah this won't be on my depot pretty soon also this is my favorite favorite thing i thrifted was this like football jersey it was a jesus football jersey that one's so cool i want to style this one like how i did in my summer outfits video on my oversized t-shirt like i want to wear this i might wear this to the fair that we're gonna do a vlog with, but like, I absolutely love this. Yeah, also, it's, all, it's cool, it's made in USA and a size 2X. Um, yeah, nice boxy fit, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a football jersey. So, cross up front. Okay, it was at Salvation Army and Goodwill. That's found a uh, couple Kyle Bush tees. So that's just the back, ain't nothing on it. There's the front. <laughs> this other Kyle Bush shirt I got. This will also be on my Depop. That one's cool. Yeah, this one's nice. Here, I was, uh, gave me some hope when I got, we got to Goodwill. Cause every time I go to Goodwill, we never really find it. It's, for, it's especially either, for me, it's- I mean, nice. we find stuff, but it's like way too overpriced for me yeah. to even compensate, like even making money after Depop takes fees and shit. You know what yeah. I mean? So. But this one's cool. This is a uh, ASAP Ferg shirt. Uh, I think it's 
2016 uh, Australian tour. I just thought that one was really cool. That was the first thing I found. I was what like, are okay. the comps on that one? I believe, the, um, I think I only saw one sold and it was a size medium, I think for like 40 bucks, I think. Oh, that's good. Going back to that, another NASCAR piece I found was this uh, Jeff Gordon um, crew neck. It's really nice. I have a girl's shirt that matches that that I found at the same, I think we Salvation Army, right? Yeah, this yeah. one's a uh, size medium. And this is a Salvation Army, just a little Y2K, you know, like it's like a 2003 Pac-Man shirt. Pretty cool. On a Nice a and Delta. distressed, yeah. or not distressed, but like worn in feel, you yeah. know. Well, it's on a Delta, size large too. Found this cool Roswell New Mexico one at Goodwill. Uh, here's another uh, Jeff Gordon we got at Salvation Army. It's like a nice, like, stretchy material. Yeah, it's kind of like a stretchy jersey. Today at um, Value Village, down the street from my work. Found I cannot wait to style this. This I girl's, have to wear this so bad. This girl's uh, Duck Dodgers long sleeve. This one's cool. This one's from 2007, I believe. Got he always finds me some good stuff. Like, look how cute. Okay, this also, this tag I want to show off. This is one of my favorite tags, besides like a Cavio tag for like women's cut like baby tea styles. Look how cute, it's so stretchy and oh my gosh. Like this with like a pair of like um, like baggy cargos or like a maxi like jean skirt. Oh my God, this would be so cute. Love the graphic and then yeah, the Cartoon Network. What is this from? Uh, 2007 I believe. 2007, yeah. so cute. I remember like, watching Duck Dodgers when I was, yeah, was like middle yeah. school. On this shirt, it's a, uh, got a bunch of people on it yeah but it's uh the uh, jingle ball uh phillips arena i remember like, going to jingle on. ball in like 2013 with like my senior group this one's good it's got you know kesha al city with a flow rider justin bieber okay. it's a winter hat it's like a it's called a was a blockhead yeah I don't know. Blockhead wear, and it's like a. It's like corduroy kind of, right? Yeah, yeah corduroy quilted front with like a beanie back. Yeah, this one's cool. It's like kind of got like a knit back to it. Here, I'll put it on. Let me see. It like just fits my head. How kind of fun that I love it. But like with some braids or something. It's like an act instead of like a bill beanie. It's like an actual hat beanie. So yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks good though. Like it's cute. Like for fall too. Like cute. I always pick up hats so. Got this cool mossy oak girls hat, like a little like lace. Oh yeah, like I, when he picked it up, he didn't realize that it had this cute little like lace cutout details on it, but that is so cute. It made me love it even more and he didn't even notice it. He's always picking me up the most amazing like women's wear, it's so cute. On this one too, same day. Baby girl. The, it's the like a reverse oak. like trucker, trucker hat. hat. Yeah. So like there's like this like corduroy style ribbed back to it and then the front part's mesh with this little baby girl patch on it. It's so cute. And then the bill is corduroy as well. And it has the little like a uh, snap back on it. On this one, this is just a uh, carbon, you know, Route 21 brand, little like uh, uh, patrol cap style. Patrol cap hat, they're so in right now. You know, that's like the one that I wear all the time with the little studs, it's like army green. They're just so cute. Like I, I used to like, not think these would be cute, but I started wearing them recently and they are the best for dirty hair days. And then I picked up this uh, Cadillac hat, an you know, old dad hat. Nice little pale yellow yeah. color. It looks good, just be something good to put on Depop. Then I got Always this, stylish. this is a personal one. I got this vintage uh, Remington hat. I just love anything that has to do with gun stuff and Americana and all that kind of stuff. It's just, that's stuff I like the most. Also got this one, um, saw this one to my brother because we're, my whole family, we're from Orange County. So we're all Angels fans. So that one's going to him. It's just a brand new, um, new era. It's the nine, um, I think it's 950. This is the snapbacks. Yeah, whole 950 hat. And then this one right here, I was super stoked. I, I, I didn't realize what it was until I looked it up. But um, I knew it was, I, I knew it was somebody, but I just, for, I just, every time I see the logo, I always just kind of forget. But um, I found this uh, new era snapback, like wool feeling hat, but it's um, the weekend. And I believe it's, I may be wrong, but I think this is like his, uh, the, when he won his Grammy or whatever. And I'll put the comps up on the screen right yeah. now, because when he sent this to me, I was like, I, I tried to, rem I couldn't recognize the logo, but I knew what it was. I was like, what yeah. is that? He was like, hold on, I'm sending new comps. And I was like, oh yeah. my goodness. So, um, if you're out at the thrift and you know, you see that, this hat. That logo, make sure to look uh, it up. It's a bolo. Because, yeah, that's definitely a, good, a bolo. It's a, it's a, 
I have it listed on my eBay right now. And then last thing I got was this, uh, the Simpsons, uh, just the Simpsons game. I think it's a movie. Or yep, just Simpsons the game for uh, PS3. And this thing, so this thing's got like sold comps for from 45 all the way to like 65 bucks. I think it goes for more if you have the um, Bartman poster. Oh, I can't but, the um, poster. It is complete. Disc and uh, Just manual. like other than the poster. Yeah, okay. CIB. And so, um, yeah, if I had the poster, it'd be like 100 bucks, I think. Dang. But yeah, that was a good one. I, I, I and The crazy part was, is I was, I didn't really have any like hopes of finding anything good because I saw a bunch of I dudes. never go into Goodwill with hopes. Yeah. Or is like, that where we went? Yeah, Goodwill? that's yeah. where I found it. I, I saw a bunch of dudes that looked like they were like, you know, game hunters. I was like, man, I already know. You they, can't judge a book by its cover. True. Some people are not looking for the same thing you are. True, I that's walked why in. everyone is always on my TikTok saying like, oh my God, how do you find this? Anytime I see someone stylish, I just turn away. I'm like, can't no, do that. You, can't do it. you gotta look, you look I, that. I look anyway. You know, yeah, you have to because hurt. yes, they may look like they're looking for the same stuff you are, but you literally never know. Yeah. You never know. For my stuff, that's what's gonna be the rest of it is like my, the stuff I found, but he was with me when I found all the stuff besides. Yeah. Actually, the first pair of boots I'm gonna show, he found for me. These brown cowgirl boots. Brown cowgirl boots, he found these for me. They have like this cute pink stitching and they're real leather. They smell so amazing. If you know what real leather smells like, oh my God, it's like, have the way money smells, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just smells so good. And they're in such good condition. Like, I'm, I have some like leather boot cleaner. I'm gonna just spiff them up with, but like, oh my goodness, yes. I'm like in my cowgirl era right now. I want a cowgirl hat with like a, like a, I want a black cowgirl hat. And then I wanna like add my own patch to the front of it. That's what I wanna do. And then these I found, and I found these at Goodwill for, whoop. For $9.99, they were $10. Actually, I need you to help me get that off because I yeah. started walking with them. I've already styled these. I'll put the outfit that I styled these with. And they're in such good condition. I've been looking for a pair of black cowgirl boots, anything. And they're a size and a half. or They're, they're like a half size too big for me, which is awesome because I have room and they're not too tight. The only flaw is right here. There's like a little rip right here, but there's no big deal because I'm keeping them forever. They're in such good condition, like the bottoms of them. There's no heel drag. Other than that little rip, they're perfect. And they're also real leather, I'm pretty sure. So I am so excited about those yeah. two cowgirl boots because I've never had any, well, I, that's a lie. I had some when I was like 10 to 12, when I was in like my horse girl era. And then I just never had any other ones. I found for broke too. Oh, he always finds me the best stuff. I love him. He's, uh, these vans. Oh yeah, he found some vans. I, I'm thinking about keeping them, but I do have too many shoes right now that I don't wear, so I'll have to see if I might I might list them. They're the, the like Bolora Crush Velvet. Yeah. They're still pretty uh they still got pretty good soul comps on them too. They're her size too. I was like I couldn't put them. Ugh, them they're so cute. I'll probably like style a fit with them and then put them on my depop. They're are, they're like look at these. Like are you kidding me? How much did you pay these? 15. 15, uh, that's a little more than I wanna pay for stuff, but like, oh my gosh. For these vans, I've always wanted these, and I think they don't sell these in the store anymore, do they? I'm not, sh I'm not sure. Oh, but I'm I mean, the sold I, comps, I I'll look them, them up and try to put them on the screen. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get in a pair and then have my size, so. Yeah, I do love those. This cute little striped button-up cardigan, little emo mall goth vibe with this cute, like, purple ribbon satin detailing in it. Really cute. This is this oh, and he found this. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah, I just yeah. find this. Oh, and this. Oh yeah. So he's, he's lying, he's I not done. <laughs> I found this made in Ireland, um, just flannel. This is nice, you know, fall and winter is coming up, so it's be perfect for me. I might, I might keep this one. That one's good. Mm. You should show him the freaking mohair one you found. Oh yeah, I'll show that one off too. <laughs> yeah, I love that shirt, it feels so good. I wore it uh, yesterday, my mom's birthday. I found this uh, Eddie Bauer long sleeve. This one I'll definitely put on my, uh, probably put on eBay or my uh, Depop just because it's uh, it's a 2X and I'm not a big fan of the big baggy uh, look. It's just a little too big for him. Yeah. The Masters just sells. Master cool. stuff sells really it good sells on eBay. Really it sells really good on eBay. I don't and know about Depop, it might that too, but I know on eBay, Master stuff just always sells. Yeah, I have some stuff on uh, some Master stuff. I have some hats. The hats sell better on uh, 
I, I got a Depop and eBay, like, yeah. but uh, I sold, I've already sold, I think, two hats already. I actually sold a hat today. Every time I see matches, stuff, I always pick it up. How much did you sell the hat for? Uh, like 20 bucks. Oh, so. nice. And then I found this super cute, sexy little, blue, like, super vibrant red lace slip dress. I always pick up a good slip dress when I see it. If there's no damages on it, and it's got the lace trim on the hem as well. Cute little gothic cottage core ruffle detail slip dress. Very cute fit. And then on the, it's a maxi length. And then it has this really cute like tiered ruffle moment happening with this like lace detail. Ugh, I cannot resist a good slip dress. It's just, I have to. And most of the time, like especially at Value Village and Salvation Army, they price them so good. So I can't resist. Is amazing. Let's talk about it. One oh, yeah. sexy biker chick <laughs> is the brand name. Love that so much. This gives me so much Jersey Shore vibes, actually. So here's the front. I don't usually like pick up super neon vibrant colors, but you know, sometimes it's a vibe and sometimes it works. And sometimes, you know, you just gotta have that. So it's got this black lace with this like tiger striped orange ruched like cinch detailing going on right here on the like armpit chest area. And then the back is these adorable little like angel wings with rhinestones. Super cute. One sexy biker chick. So on this one, uh, Brooke was on the other side, so I would. This is also her. from the same Salvation Army. Yeah, just try. I just see like you know it's just stuff that like I, I know kind of like. He knows me and my shop. He yeah. knows what to look for. Sometimes so, when I come up on him, I'm like. Yeah. yeah. So I found this brown um, like fleece jacket, but it's also got the fur hood. Adorable, so soft, super fleece, soft material. This hood is so soft right here. It feels like it's barely been worn. Yeah, it's I tried nice. it on. It's so comfortable. Because we did find a uh, like a really nice like uh, what was a Hollister jacket. Too. Ugh, I wanted so that nice. so bad, but it was damaged. The zipper, the zipper, yeah, the zipper was broken on. Ugh, I hate when I find a good freaking jacket and the zipper's broken. <laughs> Oh, like Y2K, like No Boundary shirt. The, the old No Boundary shirts are like really cool, especially their graphics. They always slap. So this one right here, I think it just says a screw, like, screwball. Screwball like, backwards. backwards. It's so cute, like, yeah, like. That's just really That cool. is so 2001, yeah. spot on. And then I found this when he was like looking through all that. I found this cool men's like Ralph Lauren polo. Oh yeah, I like, yeah, I like so, that. I think he's gonna, I'm gonna sell him in it and then we'll sell it, you know, unless he just wants to keep it. But this cheetah print, super stretchy, very comfortable, like thermal almost material, but very breathable. And then it is, pow yeah, it is Ralph Lauren. This denim supply, Ralph Lauren. It's a mud belt, so cute. It's a grommet belt, but it's like oval shaped instead of, you know, like the circle. Amazing brown velour, lacy, sequiny, perfect little fairy core top. Little tang, you can do it for summer, fall, any occasion. So cute, layer it up. Eyelash lace, floral, little shirt cardigan thing. Perfect for layering all during fall and winter. Whimsy Gothic, Gothic styles. Put a little tank top up under it or a t-shirt, dress, so many options. Well, I found a couple of Fredericks items at the Salvation Army and this really cute sheer lace little top. And you can layer with this or just, you know, wear it by itself. And here's the tag on that. I had no idea that Fredericks also made like two piece sets that weren't like sexy lingerie for the bedroom. But this is a total like actual outfit. So I'm gonna show you real quick the Fredericks tag, size 14. If this fits me, I will do a try on for it. It is this cute little pinstripe mini skirt, very business casual ho happening. And it has this little zip on the back, very Y2K. And then this is the blazer that it came yeah. with as well. To this set is this cute pinstripe with the satin collar blazer. Like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I had no idea they actually sold like outfits that you can wear out. Very business ho. The two piece set was $8.99. Are you kidding me? And for Fredericks, like, yeah, that's amazing. So this one is a reversible piece. I don't know if it's handmade, but it gives me that kind of vibe because it's reversible and I don't have a tag on it, but it's this tiered black maxi. Sorry. 
sorry. This tear black maxi skirt. And then on the other side, you can flip it around and it's this pretty blue and yellow floral print. So cool. And then here is that Jeff Gordon piece that I was talking about. We found so much Jeff Gordon stuff at that place. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's probably more before we got there because we went kind of yeah. later in the day. But this really cute like t-shirt, but it has like thermal long sleeves up underneath it with the Jeff Gordon graphic on it. Super cute and fitted on the Chase Authentics tag. And then I got this really cute, just like basic black knitted sweater dress for the fall and winter time to layer with. Okay, so this is from a different day and a different Goodwill trip. Mm. And it's this like brand new guest bag. It goes under the shoulder. Super cool, it just goes with everything, you know? And it's like brand new. The inside is like not worn in or anything. And then this graphic, I buy it all the time because it always sells and I always put it in bundles and everyone always loves it. Me, sarcastic, never. Just a classic little, just mall goth vibe t-shirt. Another pair of shoes I got, I think they were like $3.99. These super cute platform sandals, like patent leather, shiny. And then it has like a suede right here. This one was half off that day. I remember green being half off because this was $7.24 and I was like, uh, if it wasn't half off, I wouldn't have got it, but I got it for half off. It's this like oversized, like long t-shirt slash mini dress. And it has this girl with these rhinestone guns and hats. So cool. And then it says Los Angeles on the back. I love this. Then I found this really cool zipper skirt. Like it zips all the way up and down. So cool. So many different types of styles you could do with this. Found this really cute fitted like lime green, margarita green little corset tank. Another green piece I found was this super cute little corset style tank. It has adjustable straps and it also came with this really cool thick belt. And then it's got like lace trim around the bust and then super stretchy in the back. No boning. And then I know summer's coming to an end, but I always pick up really cool vintage denim when I see it. So I found these Lee Pipes branded like 90s Y2K era little shorts. They're like carpenter shorts. They have a nice little gradient fade on them double pocket situation and I love the little like branding going on. And I also found a khaki like cream color style. And it says Lee Pipes down here. Nice cargo pockets. Nice like high-waisted 90s fit to it. Even though summer's coming to an end, I'll definitely still list these on my Depop. And then I know a lot of people are into like the mini jean short right now. And I found these Xanadi branded light denim wash shorts. Very low waisted mini. Now Brooke found this one for me, you know, nice little boxy uh, like sweater, collared sweater. It's really nice. It's really cool. It's like ribbed kind of sweatery material yeah. and then it has like a denim nice collar. Denim collar. This is just, it's only a- It's got like okay. contrast stitching on the sleeves too. It's the faded glory, so you know, it's it. Oh yeah. Nothing crazy. Okay. That's probably like a 90s faded glory. Mm -hmm. They're really nice material. I yeah. think that'd be really good on you. So I found these really cool size 16 branded like solo carpenter, like khakis, cool pockets. Got the hammer loop on it. It's got like a zipper pocket on it as well. And I have this extra large, super pretty red with the like little pendant on it, lace around the bust, and it's a maxi length. I also found this for him. If he doesn't want it, I'm definitely gonna put it on my Depop. It's yeah, a, it's another little no boundaries. I've been wanting tank tops, you know, but now it's time. And he loves car them. shirts. So I love anything, yeah, old, especially with old cars on it. This is old 68. And it was half wagon. off, so I was like, why not? This really cute cheetah, like, lingerie piece. It's got this bra, underwire. It's not see-through, so you could totally wear it as like, you know, like everyday tank and layer it up nice. And it also has these little garter straps that 
These aren't removable actually, but I think it's really cute when people wear the tank with the garter straps hanging down. It just gives a little bit more texture and stuff going on with it. So cute. And I think this is from Victoria's Secret. Yeah, this one's from Victoria's Secret. Ink International Concepts. Like little pinstripe denim waistcoat vest. So cute. It's got like the adjustable little clasp in the back to like cinch it to you. Army emerald green with this really cute cherub and flowers. Little zip up hoodie. Like you can't go wrong with that. It's very just super cute basic piece. Going along with that same color scheme, I think that jacket would look really good with this camo ribbed tank dress that I found. It's like a midi length. This is also half off. I don't know if I've ever heard of this, but the brand says S12 and it's just like t-shirt dress. It's got this cool design on it. It's a long sleeve, perfect for fall and winter to layer up. And it's got some rhinestones on the front with this like tribal-y print going on. Same print on the back. It has these beautiful like lace puff sleeves with ruffles going on. And then it's got this really cool measuring tape yellow corset detail going on with floral boning area and then on the back it has the classic like black ribbon to cinch in and then it also has like a zipper for easy access to take on and off so pretty this i was so excited to find this is a 1999 nsync tour t-shirt it's on the toltex tag Here's the back, so cool, really good condition. It's super like comfortable and worn in, 90s feel. So this one I found um, like two weeks prior to buying this and it wasn't half off and they had it for 624, which is too much for me. And then the next week or two that I went, it was half off. So I went ahead and bought it cause it was still there. Super cute little Y2K cityscape baby tea and these are so amazing goodwill has totally gone up on the price everywhere around me and i did not want to pay nine dollars for these because i'm used to paying about like six or less some places but couldn't leave these corset style jeans because they were in really good condition these will be on my depop soon or i'll just save them for bundles i found this really cool corset little satin top so beautiful. And this is a shirt I thrifted. This nice, uh, what was it mohair? It's mohair? like mohair, yeah. Wow. Uh, I didn't have a tag on it, but. Uh, I think they cut it out. So we don't know what out. material it is, but I'm pretty sure it's mohair. It's so yeah. soft. It feels it's like a really nice flannel short sleeve, and it's, I love it. It's, it I've never had it. I've never actually put a shirt on, it was all like, I felt this super is nice. Shirt. I felt like it was like, I get, like, yeah, that's it. It's a nice, it's a nice one. Uh, so this is what it looks like on, and it looks so good with the shirt that he has on actually with it. And like all the colors look like they correlate really good. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a good shirt. I think yeah. it looks really hot. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. So that was like our haul from like two, two and a half days of thrifting. Let me know what your favorite item was down below and let me know what kind of videos you wanna see from us in the future. I'll see you in my next one, bye.